Let's talk about the first symptom of a magnesium deficiency, and that is you don't have the endurance when you start exercising. In other words, you tire more easily when you exercise. That's the first symptom. There are many more as well, like your memory starts going, you start getting blood pressure issues, your risk for getting soft tissue calcification can occur with a magnesium deficiency. Your sleep won't be that great. You might be a little more irritable. Arrhythmias due to the electrolytes that are needed to keep the heart in rhythm. Cramping in the feet or the calf. You can also have tetany, which is a little twitching here, or even a tremor. Uh, tremors could be a magnesium deficiency. There's over 300 enzymes that are dependent on magnesium. 65% of patients in intensive care are severely magnesium deficient. Over half of the population does not consume enough magnesium in their diet. Also, if you have a subclinical magnesium deficiency and you start fasting and you start feeling fatigue, we just need the electrolytes. And this is why I always recommend electrolytes if you're doing fasting. 80% of all alcoholics have a magnesium deficiency. Now let's talk about what would cause a magnesium deficiency. Number one, you're not eating enough, your diet. Number two, you're eating the wrong foods. Refined foods cause a deficiency of magnesium. More stress, the more deficiency you're going to have. If you're low in vitamin D, because vitamin D stimulates the absorption of magnesium, Plus, it goes the other way around, too. You need magnesium to absorb vitamin D. I'll do a separate video on that. Alcohol depletes magnesium. Having diabetes will cause a magnesium deficiency. Diuretics can create a deficiency. Diarrhea, antacids, antibiotics, and malabsorption all create a magnesium deficiency. But I believe the number one cause is insulin resistance because you need that insulin receptor to absorb magnesium. And it's, it's resisting. Phytates. Let's say, for example, you consume beans, legumes, and grains. They have phytates that will block the absorption of magnesium. Now, chlorophyll is the blood of the plant. It's green. At the heart of chlorophyll is magnesium. Chemistry of chlorophyll is similar to blood. But blood has iron, and that's why it's red. And this is why leafy greens are, I think, important to consume in your diet, at least six, seven cups per day. All right, thanks for watching. Before you go, if you have a question about a product or you're new to keto and you wanna know how to begin keto or you're on keto and you need a debug because it's not going as smooth, I have a keto consultant standing by to help you. This is just for the people in the US. Hopefully in the future we'll be able to answer everyone's call, but I put the number down below so you can call and get some help.